Hey guys, Gvidas from Surfshark here with another tutorial. Today I will show you how to set up a manual OpenVPN connection on your Linux device. Before we start, if you enjoyed these tutorials, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So why would you want to use OpenVPN anyway? Well, the answer is simple. OpenVPN client has a wide compatibility range. It allows Surfshark to be used on Linux distros that would typically not be supported. And also, it may be more stable to connect manually if you are connecting from a restrictive country like China, where custom VPN configurations are used. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Ubuntu distro, so please note that some commands may vary depending on your Linux version and the distro that you're using. Speaking of commands, in this video we'll be using a lot of them, which for Linux users is probably nothing new. However, for your convenience, I will add all commands used in the video in the description below, so that you can easily copy and paste them into your terminal window. Now, let's begin. Firstly, let's install the OpenVPN client. Begin by opening the terminal window, which you can do by pressing the Ctrl plus Alt plus D shortcut or navigating to it from your apps menu. I will just use the shortcut since it's faster. In the terminal window, type in or copy and paste this command to install all the necessary OpenVPN client packages. The command is called sudo apt get install openvpn unzip. By the way, after copying the command, you can paste it by right clicking and selecting paste you may also need to enter your computer password to confirm this process. Next up, you will need to download the server configuration files. Every server has a configuration file that you will use to connect to the VPN server. Here's how to get those files. We first need to navigate to the OpenVPN directory where the files will be stored. You can do that by entering this command, cd forward slash etc forward slash OpenVPN. Now to download those configuration files, copy and paste this command sudo wget and it's a large link. But this link will take you to the server configurations and the command will download all of them. But before we can use them, we need to also unzip them, which we can do with this command, sudo unzip configurations. And now we can list all VPN config files by typing ls. Note that the listed servers have abbreviated names. For example, usnyc is for United States New York location. Finally, let's try connecting. Begin by choosing the server you want to connect to and copy the full name of the server file. We recommend a server that is near your geographical location. This will ensure a fast and stable connection. But in my case, I'd like to connect to Tokyo, Japan. So let me copy the name of the file just by selecting it and right click copy. Now I can enter the command to connect, which is sudo openvpn. And then just right click and paste the server file name. Keep sudo openvpn command in mind, since it's used for every connection. After pressing enter to input the command, the client will request you to enter your Surfshark service credentials. These are not the regular email address and password that you use to log into our website or apps. Instead, they are randomly generated manual credentials only used for router connections and OpenVPN manual connections such as this. These credentials can be found on our website at my.surfshark.com. So jump onto our website, log into your account with your email and password. And now here on the left side, you will find manual setup and your service credentials will be right here. Use the copy button on the side here to quickly copy the username. Then go back and just right click and paste it into your terminal window. Repeat this for the password as well. Once you see that initialization sequence completed line in your terminal, you have successfully connected to Surfshark. Congratulations. Also, a common question that we receive is whether or not you need to generate new credentials for every manual connection. And the answer is no. You can use the same credentials, so you don't need to generate new ones for every device you want to connect or every new connection to the VPN you want to make. So with that in mind, I'd recommend bookmarking this page or just saving your credentials in a text file somewhere, making future connections easier. Now, of course, you may also want to disconnect from the VPN. So for that, just click Ctrl plus C shortcut on your keyboard while having your terminal window open. And just like that, you're disconnected. One last little quick tip for those of you who are less experienced with Linux terminals is that you can press the up arrow key on your keyboard to bring up the last command used. This makes it just that tiny bit easier to connect. And finally, it's also important to test our connection, which we can do by going to surfshark.com slash what is my IP. Your IP address should now match the country that you're connected to. In my case, it should be Japan and Tokyo, Japan. It looks like everything is working. 
And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. But of course, you can still contact our customer support team, which is available 24 seven in case you have any issues. And if you want to learn more about Surfshark, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching. I'll see you next time.